On Trinity Sunday, we remember that Jesus said to his disciples, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. So on this Trinity Sunday, we affirm that we believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again. And we believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. This is the faith of the Church. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Trinity is a glorious mystery, but mystery does not mean we can't understand, so we leave it. Mystery means being apprehended by something or someone so awesome that our minds struggle to keep up, which is why we worship and keep silence, for these may be better ways to approach mystery in awe and attentiveness. What we do see on Trinity Sunday is that God is relationship. In this wonderful Rublev icon, we see the dynamic and constant flow of love between the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And we also see an open space at the table that we feel drawn into as we gaze. This is the double mystery of this day, not only who God is, but that in Jesus we are drawn into that same love. One writer has said that God is that being whose centre is everywhere and whose circumference is nowhere. In other words, he is profoundly with each of us where we are, and he does not do boundaries or walls or exclusion. Jesus excluded no one or nothing except exclusion. As we witness the events in America, we need to pray constantly and show solidarity with those whose lives matter and for too long have been oppressed excluded and ignored, and be clear that racism is the antithesis of the gospel. So let us fall silent on Trinity Sunday. Let us pray and adore, and rise to be part of the answer to our Lord's prayer that we might be one. Blessed Trinity, draw us deeper into your love, that we may reveal that same love in all our relationships in our solidarity with the oppressed and all who suffer discrimination for their colour, creed or sexuality. May we worship and adore the mystery you are and work and strive for your ways of justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may God the Father who made us unite us in our common humanity. May God the Son who died for us unite us in his redemptive love. And may God the Holy Spirit who fills us make us living signs of the kingdom. And the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.